Hello beauties. So guess what? This is a new chapter for me and a new chapter for you because I am birthing new content onto my YouTube channel, which are more cosmic downloads, things that are coming through me, which are powerful impulses of information that I just can't deliver in a one minute video on Instagram. And I have so much to share that I realized that I have to also share these downloads on YouTube as well. So in addition to this amazing channel, which offers hundreds of different tapping sessions, you're now gonna get some downloads from me as well. And these will be around business, around personal development, around the awakening process, around healing, and anything that has to do with up-leveling our lives and humanity. So. This is video number one, which is all about expanding your financial resources. And it all starts with integrity and honoring your commitments and stepping away from avoiding and coming back into serving. So if you are in avoidance in any area of your life, if you are avoiding relationships, you're not going to attract a beautiful relationship. If you're avoiding intimacy, you're not going to have deep, yummy, delicious connections. If you're avoiding self-love and self-care, you're not going to feel the greatest in your life. This is the same for finances. If you're avoiding looking at your bills, if you're avoiding creating a financial plan, if you are avoiding paying certain commitments, if you're avoiding certain relationships because you know you owe them money, all of that is telling the universe to avoid its relationship of money with you. So you are going to attract back similar kinds of experiences because whatever you're vibrating at is what you attract back. So if you're avoid, avoiding paying your rent or you're avoiding paying your electricity bill, guess what happens? Your electricity gets turned off or you get booted out of your apartment or your house, right? The same thing goes with the universe. If you are avoiding taking responsibility for your finances, the universe is going to avoid taking responsibility for your financial flow and how things come into your life. So if you have a consciousness of, I'm not going to pay this kind of service and I'm going to avoid looking at it. You're also going to attract clients that have similar kinds of vibrations with money with you as well. So if you're a coach and you're not paying for your services for mentoring, for example, a little wink for anyone that may have ended a program with me in the past and not paid, um, but you're also going to attract that back to you in your services because it's what you're vibrating at. And so as we continue to up level our integrity with our finances, the world upgrades its integrity with its finances around you as well. So we have to start exactly where we are at. We live in a world that is so deeply addicted to more, more, more. I want more. I've got to buy more. I've got credit card debt. The world is in debt. All of this stuff is because of this deep addiction to more. And I just got back from a really deep journey in Ecuador where I spent time uh, with a shaman there and we did ceremony. And in that ceremony, I was purging a lot. So if you've ever heard of ayahuasca and these kinds of ceremonies, a lot of the time there's purging, which happens in these ceremonies, which is throwing up and... Um, it's almost like you feel something so deeply that your whole being lets it go and it comes through a purge. Um, and I just like puked my guts up while in this ceremony. And I was puking up my own and the world's addiction to more. And so as I went through this process, of the addiction to more and letting it go because this addiction to more also has a parallel to seeking outside of ourselves to find pleasure, to find bliss, to find home. And there's no amount of more that is ever going to give you what you're truly looking for because what you're truly looking for is right here in the present moment. And so this whole culture of more, more, more has also resulted in a lot of debt. It's also resulted in a lot of broken relationships, wars between countries, 
because of this more energy. So if we can purge or restabilize our energy around our finances within ourselves as individuals, we come back into sacred integrity with the laws of the universe. Because the laws of the universe will always mirror what you are putting out. And so if you want more financial flow, if you want clients that are in integrity and commit, if you want to make more money, you must do the very things that you want back from the universe. Invest in programs that are going to help you grow. Take that extra leap, stretch a little bit more, invest more money than you've ever invested before and watch how people start investing in you as well because you hold a different level of integrity in your being because you've done it yourself. If you are the type of person that puts all of your bills to the side or avoids paying things, you're going to get that same mirror back to you. So the invitation right now in our lives and in the world collectively is to come back into sacred agreements, to come back into sacred exchange, to recognize everything that is flowing through our life, through the services that we have with each other, for the things we're investing in, through the things that we receive, all of it is an invitation to remember deep, powerful, sacred exchange. So that when we receive a bill, we come into sacred exchange with that bill where we say, wow, we take a moment, we realize how much we receive from that and we move into a state of gratitude. And from that state of gratitude, there is an overflow from our being that wants to give back. If you are not taking the time to recognize everything that is supporting your life, then you are most likely in the more, more, more addiction. And when you are not in that sacred realization, all of the things that you must pay for become a drag. And when you are holding the drag energy around all of those things, guess what happens? It becomes a drag. When you are able to remember sacred exchange and come into the deep, full, powerful gratitude for what you're receiving, because what we have in this physical dimension is way more than enough, so deeply abundant, we are so deeply provided for, if we can come back into that realization, then we are in a state of abundance within ourselves. We give back from that deep status of abundance. We honor sacred connection and everything around us flourishes. So this is an invitation for you in your own life to take the time to come into sacred exchange, to take the time to come into integrity with your financial flow. Not only because it feels really good, because it's no longer draining you in the background, because anything you're not taking responsibility for still sits in your subconscious and it drains your energy and then attracts reflections of that. Not only do you get to clear that out so that you can feel deeply aligned and empowered and energized, but you also come in touch with the sacred laws of the universe, which actually want to continue to shine abundance into your life. But it takes that first step about coming into integrity with it and letting go of any fears that you might carry around your finances and actually being present with what is. When we can come into full presence with what is, then we can shape our future. If we are not looking at our finances, if we're not looking at our statements, if we're not creating a financial plan, how could we ever expect to work with the laws of the universe to create more? Anything that we're not giving attention to won't give attention to us. And so here is the invitation today to take that time to be with what is present in your financial world, to take responsibility for what is most important to be taken care of right here, right now. Take care of what needs to be taken care of in this moment. And then when all of that is in a stable place, continue to expand because 
expansion is natural when we're in that place of deep integrity financially. So this is my first download, my first share. A lot of this share came from some of the work that I did when I was in the Amazon um, and spending time with the Zappa tribe and a lot of the cleansing that happened. And a lot of that cleansing comes from a lot of cultural deprogramming. And then later this year, earlier this year, I met another tribe from Peru, the Quero tribe, and I spent time with a 98-year-old grandmother from that tribe, and we did some deep initiation work. And all of my time that I spent and continue to spend with these ancient tribes takes me back to these same teachings. Uh, to really recognize that there is more than enough. And I feel in the work that's coming through me is a deep invitation for me to remind myself and all of us back into this memory because I know that our culture and our world have become very lost and very addicted to what is outside of ourselves and continually searching for more when really what we have is so much and we've been given so much. And it's right here, right now. And it comes in the form of gratitude when we recognize that. So this is my first transmission. Let me know in the comments below what you're grateful for. What are you grateful for in your life? That is the first currency of abundance and how you're going to show up in integrity to honor financial flow in your life. Thanks for taking the first steps.